Hi, boys and girls. So today we are going to work on phonemic awareness. Now, we've done lots of activities like this in the past. Um, so just remember that with phonemic awareness, we have to put on our listening ears because we are listening to the phonemes in words. We're listening to the each sound in, in the words, okay? So put your listening ears on and let's get started. All right, boys and girls, let's get started with our first um, activity. We're going to isolate the middle sound in words, okay? So we're listening for the vowel sound. And you're going to listen to the vowel sound to figure out if it is a long vowel sound or a short vowel sound, okay? So I'm going to say the word, then you're going to repeat the word back. And when you repeat the word back, you're going to say the middle vowel sound and tell me if it's long or short so this is what it will look like okay so what does it sound like when you do it so i'll say brush you say brush and along with saying brush you'll say the vowel sound that you hear uh and then you'll tell me if it's long or short so you'll say brush a uh, short you all right so let's try some more Sprain. You say sprain. And tell me the middle vowel sound you hear and if it's long or short. Very good. So you should have said sprain a long a. Let's try another one. Glide. All right, so you say glide, I, long, I. All right, let's try another one. Stop. So you should say stop, ah, uh, short, o, oh, ah, uh, stop. All right, let's try two more. Squint. So you should say squint, i, short, i, i. Last one. Theme. Theme, e, long, e, e, theme. Very good, boys and girls. So we're gonna do one more activity to strengthen our phonemic awareness, all right? Okay, so this final phonemic awareness activity that we're gonna do, we're going to be substituting the vowel sound for a different vowel sound. So the vowel sound might be a long vowel sound, so that means we're gonna change it, substitute it for a short vowel sound. Sometimes it may be a short vowel sound, that means we're gonna change it to a long vowel sound, all right? Let's get, let me show, give you an example first. So I'm gonna say a word, you're gonna repeat the word, and I'm gonna say change the blank sound to this sound, and the word is, so it'll sound like this. Fail, you say fail. Change e to e, and the word is, and then you tell me the word, which is feel. Okay, let's try some. Fate. You say fate. Change A to A. Ah, and the word is fat. Very good. Let's do another one. Say Pete. Change E to E. Eh, and the word is Very good. Say rid. Change I to I. And the word is ride. Very good. Let's do two more. Say Sam. Change A to A. And the word is same. All right. 
say mope. Change O to ah, and the word is mop. Very good. So that's just a little practice to help you pay close attention to the sounds and words, okay? So enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you soon.